subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see what is meant by sagging bending moment. So let's get started. For sagging bending moment, first I'll draw the diagram of a beam considering a simply supported beam because that is subjected to a sagging bending moment. So here there is an example in which there is a beam of length capital L subjected to a central point load W and under the action of this load the beam is going to bend in this way. And the neutral axis remains same even after bending. Here in case of this sagging bending moment, first of all the effect of shear is not considered, it means we have to only see it for bending and when I see this bending, we can say that the beam is bending in this fashion and for that, here I will explain it with a sign convention that when I take a section on this beam, to the left there is a clockwise moment on to the right there is an anti-clockwise moment and sagging bending moment is considered as a positive bending moment so these sign conventions are positive and as we can see when the beam is bending in this manner in this fashion the top layers they are getting compressed whereas the bottom layers they are in tension so when I take the cross section like for example I am assuming a rectangular cross section of the beam So here I have taken a rectangular cross section and as we can see when it is sagging the top layers are getting compressed. So from the neutral axis up to the top this height or depth would be denoted as y suffix c that is the depth in compression and similarly from the neutral axis up to the bottom it would be y suffix t that is the depth under tension. And because of YC, there would be compressive stress introduced into the above layers, that is the layers above the neutral axis, whereas the layers below the neutral axis would be subjected to tension. So for that, I am going to draw the stress distribution diagram for such a kind of bending. At the center, the value of stress is 0, so bending stress is 0 at the center. At the top, it is maximum and it is compressive because of YC. At the bottom, it is the tensile stress, sigma t, also the maximum stress. So, this is the bending stress distribution diagram. For a sagging bending moment and we have seen whenever there is sagging bending moment the beam bends in such a way that the layers above the neutral axis are getting compressed whereas at the below they are in tension and along with the sign convention and the stress distribution diagram. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.